From a pile of PVC to a perfectly vented Linux system, this is the process most people never see, but it makes all the That's difference. It. 13. Check it out. A little primer. Clean up the PVC pipe. Flip. A little more primer on the other side. And glue. One, two. Okay. Easy to look at this and think it's just some plastic pipe glued together. But this is the backbone of a high efficiency furnace. These intake and exhaust runs control everything from combustion quality to the lifespan of the heat exchanger. Every step you're seeing, measuring, cutting, priming, gluing, securing, has a purpose. Even if one fitting isn't seated all the way, or if a joint isn't fully welded, you can end up with leaks that pull exhaust back into the system or starve the burner of fresh air. And the slope you set, just a pitch, lets any condensation drain out instead of pooling in a low spot where it can freeze or rot out the furnace over time. You'll be surprised how often I come into a job and see venting slapped together with no primer, fittings barely holding on, and pipes pitched the wrong way. So I take my time and I do it by the book, even when nobody's watching. This isn't about passing inspection. It's about giving the homeowner a system that works safely and reliably for years. No callbacks, no headaches, no wondering if you cut a corner. It might look like overkill, gluing every joint, cleaning every burr, double checking every strap. But this is the difference between an install you never hear about again and one you're back fixing in the middle of January. Try to ease up. Prime your pipe. Glue your pipe. Glue your pipe. Make sure that you're level. And hold it. Out here, these risers do more than just look tidy coming out of the Jump house. The their Take height and separation are critical for performance and safety. You need to get the exhaust discharge far enough above grade we'll to this. keep it clear of we'll snow turn. buildup and debris. If these pipes get buried, we'll you'll choke off like airflow and, and the furnace will either like lock out or start pulling combustion crap. air from places it shouldn't. And the spacing between the intake and exhaust matters just as much. You don't want exhaust gases getting sucked right back into the combustion air intake. That recirculation can cause condensation in the heat exchanger, carbon monoxide alarms, and all kinds of nuisance shutdowns. So when I'm building risers, I'm checking clearances, measuring offsets, and up. making sure everything's anchored solid. Yes, it's the final dirt, step that ensures the whole system can breathe the way it was designed. My intake over here, so this is getting like so. If you're still watching and this has been useful so far, Take a second to like, share, no and subscribe. From here. I put these videos together to make installs pipe. like this easier for anyone tackling HVAC projects. Oh, Glue. Glue. Into it towards the front here, like so. So we're definitely six inches like this. So that's about two feet. Only matter for the intake, but for the exhaust, you want to be slanted towards back towards the furnace. I got some primer on this because I want to clean the pipe primer on, and you can get a lot of the nastiness off. Thanks for watching, and if you have questions or want to see more installs like this, drop a comment below. I always appreciate the feedback. I'll see you soon.